Also in France, the presidential election is coming up next spring, and France's Green Party has just picked its candidate for next year's vote. Our French, polit French politics editor Mark Perlman joins me on the set to talk a bit more about all of this. Uh, Mark, tell us a bit more about who is this Green Party candidate, Yannick Jadot. Yannick Jadot is uh, the most well-known uh, Green politician in France uh, because uh, he's been a member of the European Parliament uh, for several years, and he was the winner of the last primary contest between all the Greens uh, back in 2016. Uh, however, he did not make it uh, to the presidential election. He decided uh, to uh, side with the then socialist candidate Benoit Hamon, who, poured, who fared sorry, very poorly uh, with some 6% of the election. And this was a choice Yannick Jadot regretted because uh, he's saying, now the Greens are on the rise. We shouldn't ally ourselves with the socialists, or if so, they should ally with us behind us. And so uh, he's been very vocal about the need for the Greens uh, to have a candidate. He didn't really want to have this primary contest uh, because he was fearing it. He wanted really to be nominated uh, by the party faithful, but without uh, such a contest, he was forced to accept it. And he narrowly won it, just some 2,000 votes out of a total of 120,000, a very narrow margin. So not a great uh, victory, uh, but clearly a sigh of relief for uh, Yannick Jadot, who's presenting himself as a Green who wants to govern, uh, someone who is not a radical. Uh, his opponent, Sandrine Rousseau, uh, was uh, much more uh, radical on the environment, but also on many uh, issues uh, as well. Uh, so Yannick Jadot is someone who thinks he can really uh, be a candidate who can attract m a much broader electorate than just uh, the Greens, their sympathizers. And he's hoping that the Greens, who won uh, big in municipal elections, they now run large cities in, in France, like Lyon, like Bordeaux, have shown that they can not only advocate, but also run important uh, entities like cities, like regions. They don't have one right now, but maybe even the presidency. How much of a following does the Green Party have nationally, and does Yannick Jadot really have a shot? Well, uh, he certainly thinks he has uh, a shot. The Greens have performed rather well at decided municipal elections. They've done fairly well in regional uh, elections. The presidential election has always been a problem for them, and according to the polls, it will remain so. However, he was just nominated, and he is certainly hoping that there will be some momentum. The problem is that there is competition on the left, where he is. Uh, there is the mayor of Paris, Anne Hidalgo, who is a socialist, but with a strong environmental agenda that she wants to push through, and she wants to be the candidate of both the socialist and the green. It's a little bit like Yannick Jadot. Mm -hmm. So there is a competition. There is also competition from the far left, Jean-Luc Mélenchon. Uh, clearly, he's more radical, but he's also been harping on the environmental issues. And so there is competition. He's certainly hoping that there will be a momentum that uh, he will rise in the polls and the, these other candidates will decide to do what he agreed to do last time around, meaning uh, instead of him uh, agreeing to side with another candidate, they would uh, rally behind his green flag and run with him. But obviously, this is a very long shot, uh, but he's certainly the most consensual candidate uh, for the Greens and probably their best shot at playing an important role in that presidential election. Mark, thank you so much for that. Our French politics editor, Mark Proman, there talking about the new green presidential candidate, Yannick Jadot.